In today's video, stop trying to lose body fat. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Rella from ProPhysique.com In today's video, we're going to talk about this idea of losing body fat and going through cycles of losing body fat and gaining it back and what I think the real long-term solution is. And if you enjoy this type of content around nutrition and training, we'll click the, click the subscribe button below and uh, let's talk. Let's talk about what I'm going to talk about today, which you know, usually what I do is I scroll through my Instagram, so I'm going to put it on the screen here. And if you guys send me direct messages, what I'll do is I'll scroll through and I'll find questions that I feel like I either find a theme, something in common, or something that I would just like to address on that given day. And today, I was kind of bombarded over and over, and I'll put a couple screenshots up here, but I'm not going to read any of them aloud. But I'm just going to give you like the theme that I kept seeing is like, I can't lose weight. I can't lose body fat. I've gone through... You know, I've lost 80 pounds, I've lost 50 pounds, I gained it all back, and I'm, un and I'm unable to lose it again. And then, I came across a couple other different messages. Hey Paul, thanks to your videos, my calories are here, I'm training better. Even one direct message I got was someone that was working with one of my coaches named Tyler, who has her calories higher, has her cardio down, she's no longer doing HIIT cardio, she feels better, looks better. And so I'm just reminded and I want to talk a little bit about the process of our bodies changing and this idea that we should constantly be focusing on fat loss, fat loss, because what tends to happen is we lose patience and we put ourselves in a worse position than we ever were for that reason. And it's something that I've talked about quite a bit on this channel and in any platform that I have um, that this approach to fat loss where people take extreme dieting, very low calorie, lots of cardio, lots of stuff that's really not sustainable, right? You have a goal and you want to get there now, today, in the next 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, and I get it. I get it. It's exciting. It's motivating to see some changes happening every single day. But we end up in a worse place than we were before. And when you go through this and your solution after you put all the weight back on is to go right back to that same approach and you find it gets tougher and tougher, well, there's really only one solution, and it's to stop the cycle of perpetually dieting. Stop the cycle of constantly putting your body in a state of trying to lose in short, rapid intervals of body fat and change your body composition quickly. You have to find a way to change your lifestyle. That is the only solution, okay? It's not a pill, it's not hit cardio, it's not fasting, it's not keto, all right? Yes, there are all kinds of catchy kind of things that you will find that come and go in the fitness space that for someone like me who has always just had a balanced approach and I preach this with my clients, it's just something that it just annoys me to no end, but I understand it, okay? I understand that people are looking for solutions. What I'm trying to do is stop the cycle. I'm not saying any of those approaches are bad. I love me some hit cardio. Keto dieting is great. I have clients doing keto, but it's, they're not a solution if they don't fit your lifestyle. And that's what I think my biggest concern is. When I see people doing these rapid fat loss protocols or all they're doing is focusing on getting the scale down, they're not actually taking care of themselves. You gotta take care of yourself here and here if you wanna look good here, okay? There needs to be an approach to your life and to your lifestyle that fitness and being overall healthy fits your daily routine. You have to put yourself first, not for 30 days, not for 60 days, not for 90 days, but for all the days. It needs to be part of your lifestyle, needs to be about creating healthy habits and routines. I still love to go out and have some junk food. I still love to go out and have a drink. I still love to take days off from the gym and go on vacation. But the approach that I find the most successful people have is that they don't really have to think about what they're doing on a daily basis. They just get into some good routines. They get into some meal prep routines. They understand calories, macronutrients, whatever it may be. They find a diet that fits their lifestyle, whether that's the Mediterranean diet, the vegan diet, the keto diet. They find something that fits an approach that they can handle forever. If 
you have a diet and you have a training plan that your only goal with that is to get through the next 30, 60, 90 days so you can stop doing it, it's the wrong freaking plan for you. You need to stop what you're doing. So to my friends that sent me direct messages and said, what do I do? What is my solution? I'm going to give you a solution. You're not going to like it. The solution is spend one year, one year, not dieting, not focusing on fat loss, but putting yourself into some good habits. You know what healthy food is. You know what good whole foods are. Make that the basis of your diet. You know what's good for you. Go take walks, go for a jog, find something that you enjoy doing that's physically demanding. It could be yard work. It could be walking up a mountain, whatever it is. Maybe it's CrossFit, maybe it's bodybuilding. Experiment, but find that thing that you go, you know what, I really enjoy this. My wife went and tried a, a boxing cardio class. She loved it. She signed up right away. She loved the boxing because it just gave her that short, intense bout of exercise and she was done. So find something like that that works for you. Otherwise, you're just gonna constantly be struggling with this in and out for the rest of your life and eventually you're gonna be in a bad place and you're just gonna wanna quit. I don't want you to quit. But taking one year, it sounds like a long time, from now until this time next year, just give yourself some time for some self-love. Appreciate your body how it is, feed it, and watch what happens. Watch how beneficial it is for you. And that's all I gotta say today, guys. And I'm sorry if I sound preachy and ranty, but it's just a message that I feel like I need to say um, kind of consistently, and every now and then it just gets me. So, hope you're having a great Thursday, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.